Hi, it's Kathleen, and I'm wondering if you'd like to go thrifting. In there, with me. Okay, let's go. I think the last time I was at this thrift store, it was snowing. So I'm excited to take a look around. Today we're gonna do another thrift with me, but I can only buy one thing challenge. I think I wanna look for a summer dress. A vintage one would be great. We'll see what I find. We're gonna look through the shoes, the dresses, probably everything else, and hopefully walk away with something really special. We're only looking for statement pieces. Classic plaid button up, no thanks. Boring basics, check please. 1980s prom dress. Maybe. First, to the shoes. It's our set. Okay, I only have two pairs that I want to try on. One are these little ankle strap guys. They have a little bit of some cool texture here and these remind me of vintage coach, like 90s coach heels. And then I found these just chunky white sneakers from Brooks. I know that's a good brand. Can't go wrong with a chunky white sneaker. They're a little bit dirty, but I just recently got white Air Force Ones from the thrift store. So do I really need these? Let's try them and find out. Okay, back to dresses. This is a cute little vintage number. It has a really nice pale green color and some fun buttons. We love a fun button. Might be a little bit small, but we will try. I think this would be too hot for the current season, but it's a handmade little vintage dress. A really pretty frilly collar and a little ruffle at the bottom. So cool. I feel like if Baby Bop was a real person, she might wear this. What do I mean if she's a real person? Of course she's real. This is definitely like grandma's tablecloth chic, but little matching set. I'm such a sucker. This is such a toddler core little set. <laughs> Precious. Y'all, I think I found my statement piece. I'm gonna throw it on right now. You gotta see this. Okay, use your imagination. I wouldn't be wearing this underneath it. This is so fun. These colors, are you kidding me? This is it. We could leave right now, just with this one dress. But let's look through the other stuff too. We gotta. And it comes with a hoop skirt. Somebody please save me from myself. I did say maybe an 80s prom dress. This is a vintage union made. Almost looks like it's like a dip dye. So pretty. I think it's too small though. <laughs> Here are all of the dresses that I picked out and curated. This one's on the left, your left, are ones that I'm not gonna go for. Either they're too small or I don't like the style that much. I really love this one, but it's just not a summer dress, you know? This type of front usually isn't my favorite look on myself as well. So this is what we are gonna be trying on. Lots of blue, lots of green and purple and pink. Oh wait, we'll put this in the not trying on section. It's a really cute little set. It's just like not really my style. So let's go try these on. Before we try stuff on, I'm taking a little peruse through the fabric, aka the bed sheets. This is so cute. And it has geese. I think future me would be really mad at myself for bringing more fabric home. 
But that is not present me's problem. It's time. I'm just gonna do a montage. Okay, you ready? Here we go. and my hair is wet. Also, it's been a couple days, and that's because we haven't had power for two days on the hottest days of the year. It has been a sweaty, bad time, but we have power now, so that means I can film and show you this beautiful dress that I found. It is so lightweight, the pattern is so cute. It's got a sweet little like 90s tag on it, so let me throw it on, style it a couple different ways, and just have a good time. Let's get this party started. Whoa, sorry. Here she is. You all know that I'm a big fan of interesting color combinations and this cornflower blue and magenta combination, it's just dreamy. One thing I liked about this dress was the versatility of the silhouette. It's simple and classic, a little bit vintage, but it has some fun extra details like the extra long and wide ties that make a big bow and the super swooshy skirt. These details plus the color palette are what made my alarm bells go off at the thrift store and I knew I just had to have it. This dress is cute even when it's styled in default mode with a simple pair of chucks, but let's go from day to night simply by adding some fun heeled sandals. You probably know these Aloha's sandals that I found at the thrift store from my thrift with me two weeks ago, and I'm still not over them. The bright red hue is so fun and could add a bucket full of pizzazz to any look. Okay, time to add a little bit of whimsy. I layered this gauzy vintage robe under the dress to add some softness and a little bit of dimension. I really like how the robe and the dress both have this crisscrossy wrap moment happening at the bodice. Super fun. And paired with the milkmaid braids, could this get any more cottagecore and sweet? I don't think so. Obviously rocking my hand-painted chain bag as well. If you haven't seen that video, go watch it after this. And finally, I wanted to see what this dress was like if it was styled as outerwear. If you love layering your clothes like I do, but it's too hot for sleeves, this is a great solution. So I threw on the dress like a vest and played with some fun pattern clashing to make a cool artsy look with a focus on being comfy. Now please enjoy my interpretive ribbon dance and I will see you in the outro. Well, what'd you think? I just love the silhouette of this dress. Feels like what you might wear to a little picnic in the 1960s. Although it's definitely not from the 60s. That's just the vibe, you know? I had lots of fun doing this, only buying one thing from the thrift store challenge again this week. I mentioned this the first time I did it, but it's just a great creative exercise. You gotta really curate down. You gotta really look for the specialness in each individual item. And hey, you end up bringing home less stuff, which is always a plus. Next time you go to the thrift store, maybe you'll try it yourself. Let me know down in the comments if that sounds fun or excruciatingly painful. If you like this thrift with me, then maybe you'll like my other videos. So if you wanna be notified when I post my next video next week, then please feel free to subscribe down below. And if you wanna keep this thrift train a rollin', could I interest you in another thrift with me? Maybe a whole playlist full of them, or even a thrift flip, perhaps. We've got options, she's versatile. I will leave you to it, I love you, I will see you next week, and I'll give you a little kiss.